Hello, we have Jennifer Bolcock with the YMCA of Okanagan. Welcome, Jennifer. Thank you for having me today. Can you tell me a little bit more about the YMCA and, uh, and what, what facilities you have and, and what the Y does? Well, that's a lot of questions all at once, but let me start off with the amount with our facilities. We have three of them. We have many others, but when it comes to health, fitness and aquatics or health and fitness, we do have three of those facilities. And we have a downtown Y, we have Kelowna Family Y in Rutland, and then we have the H2O YMCA um, in uh, H2O, as we call it, in the mission of Kelowna. And all of those facilities between having pools and recs and fitness centers, we're always looking for fitness leaders, uh, we're also looking for people to help out in other areas of our facility, like a greeter, concierge, to help with the manning of people coming in, especially with the pool starting up here in the next two or three weeks, plus many other opportunities that happen to come up. Well, that's great. How do volunteers make an impact on your organization's programs and services? Well, our volunteers are the core of everything we do. So we thank them for their generous gift of time, sharing their passion, whether it be in fitness, in housekeeping, with child and youth, in childcare, wherever it may be. So we're able to deliver exceptional programs and services and help individuals reach their full potential. And not just the people coming, also the volunteers. We're helping them build leadership qualities and build their potential to you know, eventually do more in their community or with the YMCA. The, um, in my experience with the Y, it, it feels a lot like a family itself. So I, is that's probably part of the sense the volunteers get as well as the, the um, clients that you serve. Yes, definitely. Some of our volunteers, the connections that they have made, they have outside our facility. And it's, it's just so amazing when they love what they're doing and the giving back that it just emanates from there throughout the facility. Right, a real sense of community. You yeah. did mention um, quite a few volunteer opportunities, but are there any others that you want to expand on or you might have missed in your first list? <laughs> um, I know like with housekeeping and other things like that, they definitely, I know some people are interested in helping with member services. Unfortunately, right now, they're still trying to work those things out because of spacing and number of people. And in fitness, we don't have the training that we normally have available for anybody who wants to become a leader. But if people are already certified or registered as fitness leaders, we can definitely work with that. So there are some things in there that are restricted, but it doesn't mean that they can't put in an application, a general application, and we can then contact them and move forward from that point. Great. Great. Um, you did mention fitness leaders, um, and that's definitely a specialized skill, as you say, that does require some training um, in advance. Are you looking for any other volunteers with specialized skills? Oh, we're always looking for people with specialized skills. And it doesn't have to be in fitness. It can be in absolutely anything. And some people might have skills with organizing with computer data and other things like that to help out with things. Maybe they're very organizational with special events because we're always needing people to help with those types of events as well. So again, it's a very large rainbow of opportunities. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you have a minimum number of hours per week or per month that you expect volunteers to contribute? Um, and is there, I know there's some general training because I have been a volunteer for the Y before. Um, what does that uh, sort of general training before you get into a specific role, what is the time commitment? Well, when it comes to time commitment, when to part of the onboarding process from the application to the interview, there is then some paperwork that comes along with that, along with child protection. That's a Y Canada thing that we do have. So it does take a bit of time along with references because we do require three professional references on every application. It can take anywhere from a month to a few months, depending on how quick we are to get the paperwork done or how hard it is to get a hold of certain people and those kinds of things. But once all of that comes into play, the time commitment is really up to the person within each department. So for my experience, fitness being my expertise, people on the floor that are helping us, we usually ask for two hours a week 
because it gives them time to get to know the regulars during their shift time that they would come. If there's somebody teaching a group fitness class, then it's one class per week that we ask for, and that's about an hour and a half or longer if they hang around and talk to people a bit more. But that's usually where we see most people is in fitness, so about an hour and a half. Sounds great. Um, if I wanted to volunteer with the YMCA, what are the steps I need to take? You did cover some of those, but let's, um, you know, sort of, we'll review them again here. Well, I mean, going to our webpage and checking out what opportunities and volunteering there is. And if you don't see any, definitely still filling out an application or sending us um, a resume to kind of with a cover letter of what you're interested in or what skills you might have. And then from there, it's depending on which department person, volunteer coordinator is required, then we are given the paperwork. And then we call the person to book or email to book an appointment to do an interview, go through some questions, see what they're about, why are they interested in coming to the Y for the reason that they've um, stated, and is there a fit in our YMCA for that? And then from there, once the interview is completed and everything seems like everything's a move forward, then that's where all the other paperwork from the criminal record checks to the child protection, to the reference checks, and a few other pieces of paperwork that we need to go through happen at that time. And then you were mentioning about after all that's done, training, that's more like an orientation. So we give an orientation on the floor of how the flow of the department works. So if in fitness, we have people who are on the floor, they need to know what's required. Are we doing hourly checks? Are we doing cleaning? Or are they maybe showing people around? Are they connecting with people? How does that all fit together? And what does that mean for them? Is there anything else you would like to, an interested volunteer to know? To give us a call or contact us by email or fill out an application so we can start the process and having a conversation about their passions and what they're most interested in at the Y. That's great. Thank you so much, Jennifer. We'll hopefully see you in person soon. Yes, I look forward to that.